Today, in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, Solomon encourages his hearers to obey the king. This should not be surprising, as Solomon was, in fact, Israel's king. Nonetheless, this chapter speaks to the significance of obedience, being a product of or walking hand in hand with wisdom. He also presents an argument for fearing God and being obedient to his will. Listen to verses 11 through 13. When a crime is not punished quickly, people feel it is safe to do wrong. But even though a person sins a hundred times and still lives a long time, I know that those who fear God will be better off. If God does not punish sins immediately, we should not think that God does not care and that sin has no consequences. But let's be honest, how much easier is it to sin when we don't feel the consequences immediately? I have two daughters. When one of them does something wrong and is not disciplined, she will much more likely repeat the act. Well, newsflash, it's not that much different for us adults. But God knows every wrong we commit, and one day we will have to answer for all that we have done. You might be saying, Creighton, this is a bit heavy for Friday morning. Well, here's the point. Life is ultimately better lived in a right relationship with God. And how do we maintain a right relationship with God? In the same way that my daughters live in a loving relationship with me, by obeying instructions and living peaceably in the house. When my children do this well, it brings great joy to a father's heart. Although Solomon's presentation in chapter 8 may seem pessimistic, it shows that life is ultimately better when lived in a right relationship with God. His presence does not shield us from all trouble in this life, but he guarantees us that we will have his power to meet adversity. Both our eternal destiny and our present lives are in his hands. So let's trust him wholeheartedly today and make every effort to be obedient to our King, Jesus Christ.